and welcome to another creative tutorial with me, Lucy. I'm one of the general musicianship tutors at the Benedetti Foundation and we believe that storytelling and your imagination are so important when it comes to both playing and listening to music. So we're going to be getting inspired by the Italian violinist Niccolo Paganini and not only was he a violinist but he was also a composer and we're going to be looking at his Caprice number 24. We're going to be getting creative just by listening to the music. If you want to use your instruments you can but if like me you don't have an instrument that's totally fine too. We're going to be doing some creative activities after we learn a little bit more about Niccolo Paganini. Niccolo Paganini was an Italian violinist who lived between 1782 and 1840. Now he wasn't from a particularly musical family, but it was very clear from very early on that he had a brilliantly musical ear. He went on to become one of the most important virtuoso violinists of his time. And he also did some compositions, some writing of music as well. Now Caprice number 24 is so important because the way that he wrote the notes, it just changed the way that people played and explored their violin. His techniques were so groundbreaking at the time that they went on to change the style of violin playing or the way that you could play your violin. Now there's this expression, work hard, play hard, and Niccolo Paganini definitely did this. He was known for his extensive touring schedule, working so hard, but he also enjoyed a good party. He probably didn't get enough hours sleep and he probably, I think it's fair to say, wasn't very well rested for his performances. But he was an absolutely amazing violinist and we are going to get creative with this piece of music. So our first creative task is the Paganini postcard. We've already discussed the fact that Niccolo Paganini toured the world extensively playing his violin. And I wonder if after listening to this piece of music, you could imagine one of the places, one of the countries, one of the cities that he performed. Why not design a postcard? Maybe it has a tourist attraction on it. You'll need to do a bit of research. Or maybe it has a theater that he actually played in. That would be really cool. But it might also be from the country that you are watching this video. Maybe you want to let us know where you're taking part in the virtual Benedetti sessions. So design us your own Paganini postcard. And after you've designed it and made it, why not send it to somebody that you love? So creative task number two is our Paganini painting. I was really inspired by one of you who sent in a picture of yourself uh, drawing whilst listening to the Vaughan Williams piece of music. And I thought it would be so brilliant to create a painting or a drawing whilst you're listening to Caprice number 24. Because I wonder how the shape and the sound of music will affect the shapes and the colours of your painting or your drawing or your sketch. So listen to Caprice number 24, get your pens, your pencils and your paints at the ready and just use your imagination, listen to the music and see what you can create on the page. Go and create your very own Paganini painting. So for our third and final creative task, we want you to write your own musical review. Now for this, you're going to need to imagine that you lived back in 1807 when we think the piece of music was composed. Imagine that you are the music reviewer of the time. You have front row seats to one of Niccolo Paganini's performances. Now remember, not only was he a brilliant player, but he was flamboyant, he was charismatic, he was energetic, and he was charming. So tell us what you think about the music, what you think about his performance, you're gonna have to imagine it. But also, were there any surprises? Did anything unexpected happen? Tell us in your musical review. 
So there we have it. Three creative tasks to do with Niccolo Paganini and his Caprice number 24. Now, if you are taking part in this, please do hashtag Benedetti Sessions on social media so that we can see all your wonderful, wonderful creations. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone, and take care of yourselves. Bye.